delay after delay. <laughs> First it was the nuts I was eating, then it was the clack. Now it's still the nuts that I'm eating. But anyway, um, today is time for our Tuesday tag. We want to thank Tracy over at Trials of a Long Hair Girl. She came up with the questions this month. I think Danielle Nicole is going to come up with them for August. So um, I'll have the questions in the um, description box down below, along with everybody that usually does the uh, tags. So go over and give them some subscription love. And subscribe to their channels. Hit the like button and all that good stuff. If you want to answer the questions, answer them down in the comments below. If you do a video, let me know and I'll go over to your channel and watch it and I will share your video with um, other people. So um, once again, we have Jim with us again. Lucky us. Uh, these are either or questions. Either. Either. <clears throat> Number one, 50s music or 80s music? <laughs> no problem. 50s. I knew he'd pick 50s. Um, I'm going to pick 80s. I don't mind 60s, but and we have serious radio, and when he clicks onto that 50s channel, there's a few songs that I know, but not that I listen to. I listen to Pandora mainly. Mainly. But in the 60s, Jim used to drive around and cruise, crash it, and Woodward and all that stuff. I didn't do that stuff. I was, at, at, when they talk about cruising in the 60s, I actually did that. Yeah, he was like 13. <laughs> no, I was 15. <laughs> you were 15, oh, okay. But the guy I rode with, he had a 64 uh, Chevelle. Chevelle. And we would, uh, for people in Michigan, we would go uh, cruising up Gratiot and Woodward. I stayed home. I didn't do any of that stuff. No. No, I was boring. Um, but I would pick 80s music. I have 80s music programmed on my phone. Uh, number two, bagels or toast? Toast. I like a good toasted bagel with some cream cheese on it. So I would pick, if I had my choice, I would pick bagels. Unless yeah. I'm having like eggs and stuff for dinner, breakfast, then I'd have toast. But, but for the most part, I like my bagels. An English muffin with eggs, sausage, and cheese, yeah. that's good. Jim makes his own egg McMuffins. Now, number three, neither one of us do either one. I definitely would, I would be more likely to do one or the other. Jim's definitely not gonna do either one or the other. Uh, Instagram or Snapchat? He doesn't know what either one is. Um, I'm actually on both Instagram or Snapchat. I have a, I have a, uh, I have a, an account with both of them, but um, I don't go on them. Isn't Snapchat like when you get mad at me and talk? No, that's when you get mad at me and you snap at me all the time, and then we don't chat for a long time. Um, but um, no, I, I don't. Um, I would be more likely to be on Instagram than Snapchat. Uh, number four, hand soap or hand sanitizer? Soap. Yeah, I like soap better. I, the sanitizer is too greasy or something. I'm, I'm not. Although during COVID. I use, I, 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 I use both, but for all in all, you know, showers and. Washing your hands. Washing you your hands. Bathroom. Yeah. One time I bought hand sanitizer by mistake and put it in the soap dispenser. That didn't work That well. didn't work out well. But like during COVID, we had hand sanitizers by the doorways. Not that we went anywhere. But right. <laughs> but we had it there just in case we had company. Um, <clears throat> number five. I know the answer to this one for Jim too. Cleaning a litter box or walking the dog? Uh, walking the dog. Yeah, I would do uh, cleaning a litter box. I find that easier to do than picking up after a dog because the dog, you know, not to be too graphic, it's still kind of, it's not hard yet. So it's kind of like squishy when you pick it up. But in a litter box, you just kind of dump it into a garbage bag. But I can't stand the smell of a cat. He says that, but he, we've had cats. And I couldn't stand the smell of them. <laughs> you were like my dad, you would feed the cats. No. Yeah. We only had one cat that I liked. Donald. We, we Well, we had cats all up until the kids left home. We always had a cat. Um, number six, travel in a plane or by car? Uh, to me, uh, either one. 
I like a plane because you get there way faster. I am, I'm not much of a traveler, but um, in a plane, at least you, you know, really though, when you think about it, sometimes it's still faster, but you got to get to the airport two hours ahead of time. And then you get on the plane and then you wait probably another half hour before they actually take off. Yeah, but you can walk around, go to the bar or whatever, you know. At, at the airport, leads. you mean, set at the plane. Yeah. 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 You know. But then when you're in the when you're in a car, at least you can move around and adjust yourself. That, that plane flight that went and they had the turbulence and the guy got stuck up on the ceiling, that would be my luck. I never take my seatbelt off. And I never go to the bathroom on an airplane because I always think that that's when they're going to hit turbulence and then I'll hit the ceiling and my pants will be down around my ankles. And, yeah. I don't care. Or it's going to crash. And then I'd survive, but I wouldn't have any pants on. Right. That would be my luck. And then, I, you know... Just the fact that I survived would be enough of a luck, but but anyway, I would rather travel by plane because you get there faster. But it's cheaper to go by car. Um, number seven: live in a warm climate or one with all four seasons. Uh, I I could I could really do both. Warm climate has its advantages, that's for sure. You know, but. I like living with all four seasons. Of course, I don't shovel the snow, but neither do you now. Yeah, well. Well, I don't let you shovel the snow. Well, I don't shovel. I use a snow blower. To me, it's still it's not as exur it's not as extent you know like you don't have to use as much exertion with it, but you still have to use some exertion. It's not still, really. Yeah. I, I just, wouldn't know because I've never. I just get out so there and take my time and walk. Hmm. Um, like I said, I'd rather have all four seasons. Uh, number eight, salad dressing. Do you like it on the side or all on your salad? Oh, on my salad. I like it both ways, but if I had my choice, I'd rather have it on the on the on the side because then I can put it the way I want to put it on the salad. Um, number nine, you're not going to know what this is. USB a USB backup or cloud storage. Oh, what was that again? USB? Backup or cloud storage? Uh, probably USB. Yeah, would you know how to do that? Well, you just plug it in the side of something and turn it on. <laughs> I like cloud storage better. Um, no, this is another one for Jim. Number 10, printed books or an e-reader? Book. I, I'm if I were to read. Jim doesn't read. Um, I just wait for the movie. I'm always a printed book. I have to have a hardcover book as my first choice or a soft covered book, which is bigger. I don't like a paperback. I, I'm very, I don't like a paperback. But I don't like an e reader either. I had a, Jim had got me one mm -hmm. year a Kindle. And I didn't when like, they first came out. When they out. first came out. And he got me a Nook, and I didn't like that either. I just, I, I like holding the book and holding, turning the pages. Never dog ear a page. You always have a bookmark. Because dog earing, it's like, that's just showing no respect to the book, is my opinion. you got to have respect for the book. Yeah. So, anyway, those are the 10 questions. So, thank you, Tracy, for getting those out to us. What about taking uh, the cover off and sticking it in between? I don't have a problem doing that. But then sometimes the cover comes loose and then you don't know where your place was in the thing. I have a lot of bookmarks, and so it doesn't really matter to me. So, thank you once again. Once again, the questions will be down listed in the description box down below. Um, if you have a channel and you do it and you uh, want me to share it with my people that watch my channel, I just let me know, and I will share your link. So, thank you once again. Uh, next month, Daniel and Nicole will be doing it. So, check my daily vlog. See how I'm doing on my goal to lose a pound or less a week during the summer. And that'll be it. Do you have anything you want to add? Me? Nah. Nah. So like, comment, subscribe, and share. And mimeograph. And we'll talk to you guys soon.